Hi guys, welcome back. I am Kyler Wilson and this is The Trailer Trash Super Bowl Extravaganza. So the Super Bowl's over and the Deflatriates have come out triumphant. But geez, what's the deal with the commercials this year? Dead kids. I couldn't grow up because I died from an accident. Crazy car commercials with a premise that has nothing to do with cars. I arrived just the other day. I guess Microsoft sells legs now. That is impactful. Dead kids. I couldn't grow up because I died from an accident. All in all, it seemed like companies wanted to capitalize on people's drunken emotions this year, which I find in poor taste. I am especially looking at you nationwide. Because I died from an accident. But that being said, I'm not here to discuss commercials, I'm here to discuss trailers. And holy cow, there were a bunch of trailers this Super Bowl. So, I've got nine trailers to cover, so I'm not wasting another minute. Let's get down to Brass Tacks, which is a show hosted by a friend of mine named Brandon Brosius and Ramsey. Sorry, Ramsey, I don't know your last name. I wonder if Ramsey is his last name. But seriously, you should check them out on YouTube. They're really fun. Uh, you can find them by typing in Brass Tacks, or you can look up the username Shazbot04. And, of course, all of that will be in the description below. Anyways, first trailer on the list, and not in the order it premiered, or really any order whatsoever other than that's the order I found them online. Fifty Shades of Grey. What a, what a wasted bit of ad space. At the cost of $4.5 million per 30 seconds of ad space? You think that they would, oh, I don't know, not show a trailer that was adapted from a romance novel? And during a sporting event that's being watched by a bunch of drunk dudes. And if you're one of the ones saying, But Kyler, those dudes have girlfriends and those girlfriends are probably watching a game with them. Okay, sure. Let me explain to you how that conversation went down. Oh baby, I really want to see this. No. But. No. I'll give you a special present. No. Because nothing is worth sitting through that movie at the movie theater. But Kyler, what about the women that want to see it by themselves or with their friends? Those women already know that the movie's coming out and they don't need to be advertised to because they have been waiting for this since day one. <sighs> Enough about marketing. What about the trailer? Got me looking so crazy right now. Where is it? <laughs> On, I mean, I don't know. Honestly, it doesn't tell me anything about the movie that would make me want to see it. It's just a bunch of nondescript shots and two people who have absolutely zero on-screen chemistry. So, whatever. What is? My playroom. Like your Xbox and stuff? Uh -oh. And I guess the guy's rich and he's into like kinky shit or something. I don't know. Whatever. Pass. Trailer trashed. Next up, Fast and the Furious 7. The most important so I think probably a lot of people are pretty anxious to see this film. Specifically to see how CG Paul Walker turns out. So, I have been a fan of these films since day one, really. But I am ready for them to end. I mean, they just get more and more ludicrous every time. Right here, right now, this home, we're being hunted. And I mean, literally and figuratively, more ludicrous. You see, it's shots like these that really turn me off. I mean, look at how fake that looks. But Kyler, they can't drive a real car out of a skyscraper, across a giant chasm and into another building. Exactly. And that is why they can't do a shot like this without it being hugely distracting. Anyways, we get the basic premise of the story on this one at least. Jason Statham is the bad guy who's getting revenge on the good guys. Ish. For something that our good guys did to his brother or something. Honestly, there have been way too many movies for me to keep track of what they did to whom and when. But whatever. I mean, I for one still don't know how Michelle Rodriguez is still alive. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty certain I remember her dying. But then she came back, I, I don't know. I mean, she does die in every film she does, so maybe I'm just mixing something up. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna say skip this one in the theaters, wait for DVD, complete your collection. Trailer trashed. Okay, next up is Insurgent. So, this movie's at a disadvantage for me because I've never seen the first one and I'm really sick of book adaptations. But, beside the point, I've never read the book, never seen the first film. But this trailer is fucking awesome.
I mean, if I were a fan of the first film or the books and I saw this trailer, I would be stoked. Really cool slow motion shots and a building made of Minecraft blocks or something. I mean, to me, this is what a teaser is supposed to be. The teaser is supposed to be representative of the look and feel of the film. Not so much like tell you a whole lot about it, but it's there to be like, hey, this is coming out okay right now. And this trailer capitalizes on that perfectly. I think they did a really great job with it. That being said, I'm gonna say skip it. I mean, I haven't seen the first one and I haven't had anybody bite my head off for not seeing it because it's such a great movie. So I say skip it. But if you're a fan, you know, wait till it comes out on DVD, add it to your collection. Trailer trashed. Next, Jurassic World. So I know that there are some fanboys out there going, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. But I'm the one that's sitting in the back corner over there, skittishly waiting to see how they're gonna fuck this up. You know, again, at $4.5 million per 30 seconds of ad space, you'd think that they would open up with something that was a little different than the previous trailers they've already shown us. Side note, a friend of mine, Kyle, has a prediction. He thinks at the end of the film, the uh, Dinosaurus Rex is going to be taken out by this big mofo. So, Kyle, it's on record. If you are right, we have proof that you called it. Meh, this trailer is a little boring to me. More or less, we get the exact same imagery we've gotten every time they released a trailer so far. I mean, they might have added like one or two frames so that we get a better look at the Idonosaurus Rex. And we get to see Chris Pratt actually training raptors this time. Which I have a huge problem with. You know what? Never mind. I have a problem with this whole concept. No lawyer on the face of this planet would ever greenlight this amusement park. Especially not after what we saw in the first three films. I'm telling you, this park would never be open. Therefore, the movie doesn't happen. But aside from that, you know, I'm really not feeling the size difference between just like a regular T-Rex and this super genetically modified T-Rex. Which makes me ask the question, why not just use another T-Rex? But Kyler, everything has to be bigger and better and faster and more cool than the first three. Which is exactly why I'll be waiting for DVD. To complete my collection, of course. And not seeing it in the theater. Trailer trashed. Next one up is Minions. So I'm gonna keep this one really short and sweet. This is a preview that tells you absolutely nothing about the movie, other than it's advertising the prequel to Despicable Me, which I didn't even know they were doing. And honestly, I just wish they would not. I enjoyed the first one, second one slid under the radar, but I really just wish more original work would be released. Instead, we're just getting reboots and remakes, and sequels, and prequels, and adaptations, and it's just so exhausting. And if you haven't noticed yet, every single trailer that I have covered, and am going to cover, save for one, which I'm saving for last, is either an adaptation, a sequel, or a prequel. That's eight out of nine films. Eight out of nine! I just want to see something fresh and new, but Hollywood just seems to be stuck in this vicious loop right now. <sighs> Anyways, conversation for another day. Skip it, wait for Netflix. Trailer trashed. All right, so next on the list is Pitch Perfect 2. Guys, there's gonna be some haters out there. They're gonna look at us, Team USA, and be like, why is the most talented one Australian? So I'm gonna watch this movie when it comes out on DVD because my better half really likes it, but if you want my professional opinion, skip! And honestly, I really thought the first one was pretty good, just not good enough to continue. So, skip! And that's all I have to say about that. Trailer trashed! Alright, so next up is Ted 2. I kind of thought they pushed it with the first one. And while I am a huge fan of Family Guy, I really do believe this movie is going to leave people wanting. That being said... Love. Tom Brady! Two MVPs, guaranteed Hall of Famer. Now let's give him a hand job into this cup. And that's at rest. Do you think Tom Brady has deflated balls? Skip the theater, wait for DVD, probably be a pretty decent one to own. Trailer trashed. Okay, so uh, second to last is Terminator Genesis. Okay, so here I come to a huge divide. I love the Terminator series, even the bad one. Terminator 3. I mean, I really like them. 
Terminator 2 had an effect on me when I was younger that was profound. Then they did T3 and T4, and I stayed loyal. Loyal like a pit bull, always at the ready to defend every continuity area and flaw. Then I saw the original trailer for Terminator Genesis, and they showed me this geriatric Arnold, and quite frankly, it broke my heart. They took one of my heroes from my youth and they turned him into a Terminator that needs a walker. Oh, and they've officially fucked up their entire universe. So much and so badly, there is literally no cohesion left. And like a loyal pit bull that you slap around for no reason, I bite. Figuratively, of course, I would never fuck with Arnold Schwarzenegger ever. Like, he could be on his deathbed. I'm not gonna mess with him. But they won't be getting my money at the movie theater this time. But they will be getting my money on DVD because I have a problem. I have to complete my collection. Gotta catch them all. Trailer trashed. Okay, last but certainly not least, and most interestingly for me, uh, comes a trailer for a movie called Tomorrowland. What if there was a place where nothing was impossible? Now, I say this is an original film, but it is a Disney film, so there is absolutely no telling who they murdered in order to get this script. That being said, it's a pretty intriguing trailer to me. Good cast, good visuals. But Kyler, you said you don't like CG. Oh, I like CG just fine when you use it to your advantage. You see, CG is being used here as an aesthetic. They've colored their shots and everything to match. This piss-poor version of a CG car is... Piss poor. So, I will say that I have to reserve judgment on this. It's such a quick trailer, there's just no telling whether or not I would go to the theater yet. But, if I am acting instinctively, I'm saying I'm probably going to skip this at the theater and wait for DVD. But, who knows, next trailer could blow me away, and I'll go see it. Trailer trashed. So, guys, that's my time for the day. I really appreciate you stopping by. I apologize for the length, but, geez, nine commercials I had to cover. It's a lot. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Hope to see you again. Be sure to like and subscribe below if you would like to see more Trailer Trashed. And find us on Facebook and Twitter to keep up with all our movie stuff. Deuces. Trailer Trashed.